Legendary singer, actor, and activist Harry Belafonte has died. He performed sold-out concerts globally from the 1950s to the 2000s, won Grammy Awards, mesmerized us with his captivating calypso tunes, and even stole our hearts with his dreamy performances on the big screen. But on 25th April 2023, we lost the King of Calypso, Harry Belafonte. Here are other Hollywood celebs who died this month. Life is full of surprises, and sometimes those surprises hit us hard. That's exactly what happened when we received the devastating news on April 27th about a man we all grew up watching on TV. He was a familiar face from our childhood to adulthood, entertaining us with his unforgettable show and larger-than-life personality. You guessed it right, we're talking about Jerry Springer. Back in the late 1990s, he ruled daytime TV with The Jerry Springer Show, where people who couldn't stand each other came face to face, often resulting in wild and even physical clashes right on the stage. It was a show that pushed boundaries and left an undeniable mark on the history of television. But Jerry Springer's influence went far beyond his outrageous talk show. For a whopping 27 seasons, from 1991 to 2018, he commanded the stage skillfully mediating heated conflicts between couples and family members, all while delivering stellar ratings. And that's not all. Jerry Springer's star power reached the silver screen as well. He made memorable cameos in various films, including the hilarious 1999 hit Austin Powers' The Spy Who Shagged Me. On top of that, he graced our television screens, popping up in beloved shows such as Sabrina the Teenage Witch, The Simpsons, and The X-Files. It seemed like there was no limit to Jerry's versatility and charisma. And if that wasn't enough, he even donned the hat of Cincinnati's mayor from 1977 to 1978, showcasing his dedication to making a positive impact on his community. Tragically, we had to bid farewell to Jerry, and he has left behind a legacy of entertainment, versatility, and public service. Next up is a fiery actress who commanded the screen with her unforgettable performances. Carol Locatell left an everlasting mark on the world of cinema. Tragically, Carol passed away on April 11th at the age of 82, following a courageous battle with cancer. Best known for her role as the foul-mouthed Ethel Hubbard in Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning, she captivated audiences with her fiery presence. From her early days in the entertainment industry, Carol showcased her talent and versatility, making her acting debut in a 1967 episode of the sitcom The Flying Nun. She quickly made her way to the silver screen, captivating audiences as Priscilla in the 1973 film Coffee. But it was her role as the shotgun-wielding and stew-making mother in the 1985 horror sequel that truly solidified her place in the hearts of horror fans. Throughout her remarkable 45-year career, Carol graced the screen in various movies and appeared on small screen as well. There's no doubt that Carol Locatell's legacy as a fierce and passionate actress will forever be cherished. Now, coming back to the most emotional celebrity deaths of 2023. If you've ever watched the classic film Carmen Jones, then you've experienced the magic of Harry Belafonte. On April 25th, at the age of 96, he left us after suffering from congestive heart failure. Harry Belafonte was a force to be reckoned with as a singer, captivating our hearts with his melodic voice and timeless hits like Banana Boat, Deo. His talent was undeniable, earning him Grammy, Tony, and Emmy Awards. But Harry Belafonte didn't stop there. He used his fame and influence to fight for what he believed in. He marched alongside the great Martin Luther King Jr. during the Civil Rights Movement, standing up against injustice and inequality. He fearlessly spoke out against apartheid in South Africa, using his voice to create change. His dedication to making a difference earned him the title of UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and an honorary Oscar. Even in his later years, Harry Belafonte continued to shine. He graced the silver screen once again, delivering a remarkable performance in Spike Lee's powerful film, Black Klansman. His presence and talent were truly timeless. But now, we must say goodbye to this incredible artist and activist. If you watch soap operas, then you're probably familiar with the talented Elizabeth Hubbard, a daytime Emmy-winning star who graced our screens with her incredible performances. Sadly, she passed away on April 8th at the age of 89, leaving behind a legacy that will forever be cherished. Elizabeth Hubbard was adored by fans for her portrayal of Lucinda Walsh in the long-running CBS soap opera As the World Turns. 
She brought the character to life from 1984 until the show's final season in 2010, captivating audiences with her talent and charm. Her exceptional work on the series earned her a whopping eight Daytime Emmy nominations, a testament to her incredible acting skills. But that's not all. Elizabeth also made her mark on NBC's The Doctors, where she starred as Dr. Althea Davis. It was in this role that she earned her very first Daytime Emmy. Her versatility and range were evident as she effortlessly portrayed various characters throughout her career. He was a prolific actor, a master of his craft whose talent knew no bounds. Michael Lerner, a name that echoes through the halls of Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the silver screen. He passed away on April 8th after suffering from complications of brain seizures. Michael Lerner was a brilliant actor and was even nominated for an Oscar, a true testament to his remarkable abilities. Michael Lerner's magnetic performances drew audiences into a world of captivating storytelling. With each role he undertook, he brought characters to life with an authenticity that was awe-inspiring. From his humble TV debut on that unforgettable episode of Dr. Kildare in 1963, to sharing a flat with none other than the iconic John Lennon and Yoko Ono in 1968, Lerner's career was a tapestry of mesmerizing moments. Over the course of his illustrious 60-year career, Michael Lerner graced the silver screen in countless films and TV shows. Who can forget his appearances in beloved classics like The Brady Bunch, Glee, Entourage, MASH, and The Bob Newhart Show? But it was in the realm of cinema where Michael Lerner truly made his mark. He is most famous for his brilliant portrayal of the enigmatic studio head Jack Lipnick in Barton Fink, which earned him that prestigious Oscar nomination. Now, let's move on to another incredible talent who made her mark in the world of television. Judy Farrell, the beloved actress and writer, passed away on April 2, 2023 after suffering from a stroke. Judy captured hearts with her unforgettable role as Nurse Abel in the long-running series M.A.S.H. She joined the ensemble cast during the fifth season, and her presence brought a special charm to the show. Judy Farrell appeared in a total of seven more episodes, leaving an indelible impression on fans before the show's conclusion in 1983. Her versatile talent extended to other TV shows like Get Smart, The Partridge Family, and Fame, and she even ventured into the world of writing on the soap opera Port Charles. Judy Farrell's contributions to the world of entertainment will always be treasured, and her performances will continue to bring joy to fans around the world. Lastly, we turn our attention to the exciting world of dance and the popular show Dancing with the Stars. On April 22nd, Len Goodman, the former head judge, passed away after fighting with bone cancer. Moving on to his career, Goodman was a former professional ballroom dancer and started his TV hosting career on the hit UK show Strictly Come Dancing, where celebrities were paired with talented ballroom dancing pros. His charisma and knowledge made him a perfect fit for the US version and he served as the head judge until 2022. The audience couldn't help but give him a standing ovation as he bid farewell, expressing his desire to spend more time with his grandchildren and family back in Britain. Goodman's love for dance didn't stop at hosting. He even ran his own dance academy, the Goodman Dance Academy in the UK. Len Goodman's infectious passion for dance and his vibrant presence will forever be remembered.